Hey there, Virgo. Welcome. This is your June 2022 bonus love reading. We're getting right into it. Now, I'm warning you that my, I might lose these cards. They're getting a little better, but they, they're very slippery. I call them my slipper cards. And let's, hopefully they don't go flying on me. Oh, I almost lost them. Okay, here we go. Woo! Starting out with the Ace of Swords. I love this. The truth. This, I got like almost a, my guys yelled in my ear. There's a truth coming out. There's someone sticking to their guns. There's a truth coming out. It's going to be very strong. This And this, you know, sword cuts both ways. It cuts out the bad and it cuts in the good. So that's what's coming in here for you guys. And we have crossing it. And it might be with a King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Let's get a charm on this person. We have the anchor. Someone wants to anchor something in. Someone wants to lock something in. There might be a deal they want to lock in. This could be a love connection. Someone might want to lock in with you in, in a commitment here. They might be proposing even. You know, but someone wants to lock in. That's what I get with that. Anchor. Stay put. If they are one that is uh, um, likes to roam around, no more. Okay, let's see. We have partnership. Working together. This could be a job that you're working together, working as a team. Or it could be this partnership with this King of Cups here. Ooh, these are Okay, so in the past, you celebrated some kind of victory. You got noticed or some kind of tension. Um, yeah, you're in this, you're getting noticed for something. Or you got a award or uh, something. Some kind of um, acknowledgement. Ooh, over the t top of you here is crowning the spread is the devil. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. It could be someone overdoing something. This could be overindulging. This could be drinking too much, smoking too much, eating too much. Uh, working too hard it could be anything it's like overdoing something it could also be someone that is obsessed about something um yeah just like too much of something now in comes leo the lion <laughs> here in comes the strength card so you're going to have the strength to overcome something or do something or whatever you have to do you're going to have the strength to do that we do have eight of pentacles here I do feel a very strong um, energy of you working here and putting a lot of time effort. So you might have been like putting way too much time in work, just overdoing, just maybe um, burying yourself in your work or or something like that. Because this and this is also someone that's very good at whatever they do. They they know how they have the master of their craft here. Okay, okay. There's an ending here. Something came to an end. Might have been a painful ending, but it's over. It's done. It's completed. Might have been you working too hard. Okay, we have the hangman now. Pisces energy. This is waiting. Being very patient and waiting. But by doing that, you're seeing things in a different perspective. Okay, and we do have the fool. You're starting something new. Aries, Aquarius energy. And we have the king of pentacles. I feel like this is your energy. I think you're starting something new. You might be starting a new business. Or somehow, this is good with your finances, your material wealth here. Very good. And there's going to be an offer coming here. Uh, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. An offer or maybe even an apology coming in here. Could be a love offer. It could also be a business offer. Oh, we have the Two of Cups. Nice. There's going to be a soulmate connection here. Partnership. Let's um, get some charms on this King of Pentacles we have here. Okay, we have this is a Batman or tennis or some racket or something. But the, I can't tell. There's a ball or something stuck in the racket. So this is probably maybe going back and forth with someone and then finally something gets stuck here. Uh, almost like going, yeah, I feel like it's going back and forth with something, you know, volleying something, the volley, volleying back and forth, and then volleying something stops, okay. Now what about the um, page of cups here? We have, oh, we have the peace sign. Someone's coming in, I think they're coming in with apology then, because someone might want to apologize for something, because you have the peace sign and you have um, the page of cups is either a love offer or apology. So, and there might be a surprise with this apology because you got that little fish sticking out there. Okay, let's see. Why do we have this Ace of Swords here? Why do we have this Ace of Swords? Ooh, 
Ooh, this is bringing you a lot of happiness. Whatever this is, this truth is coming in. I think someone might be um, confessing that they love you here. Because this one wants to anchor you down here. Let's see. Why do we have this um, King of Cups here? Okay, so now we have the High Priestess, which is Virgo Cancer Energy. Something very spiritually connected. A very deep connection. And also, you could maybe you're connected with this person presently on the fifth dimension, not on the third dimension. But I think there's a very strong spiritual bond here. I'd say, and there's also, you might be aware of things that are hidden. Maybe this person's not aware that you are. Maybe you know how they feel, but you, they don't think you do, because that's knowing things. There's secrets. Also, there's secrets that could be coming out. And I think the secret is this person's crazy about you. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the three of pentacles? Ooh, another new beginning. And this is work. This is teamwork. So you're definitely starting a couple of new things here. Um, Aquarius and Aries energy. Taking the leap of faith. Maybe in a partnership. It could be uh, something to do with your work. Okay. What about the Six of Wands in the recent past? Ooh, we got the Spy Guy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see get a gem on this. A gem on this. <laughs> oh, we got an open heart. Okay. So this person in the past um, has a lot of love for you. And they've been watching you. They're watching you succeed. They're watching you getting all this attention. It could be the fact that you do get a lot of attention from um, people that are interested in you romantically. And this person has a big open heart here. So they actually been watching you. They have a lot of love for you. It could be any sign, but we're, you know, the swords are Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be younger than you. But they are keeping an eye on you and they see the, the attention you get. This could be for work or this could be for work and um, people being attracted to you. Or it could be for both. They just probably see how much attention you get that you do get notice. Okay. As a past energy. Okay, what about the devil crowning you? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? We have... Ooh, the lovers. Okay. Right off the bat from that, I'm getting that someone is obsessing over you. I sort of felt that before when I pulled out the devil, but I'm not going to say it until I, I get the card here. But that's Gemini energy, and this is might be this person here that someone doesn't want to let you go. They're really obsessed over this connection, over you, and yeah. And all it feels like, you know, like when you... When you're looking at something, you can't take your eyes off it. That's the way I feel with this person. This person cannot take their eyes off you. Okay, what about the strength card? Okay, you're waiting for something to come in. You you put something out there, and you're just you have the strength to do it. Now you're waiting for your ships to come in. Okay, what about the eight of pentacles? Why is the eight of pentacles here? Woo! Okay, you might be meeting someone at work. Here's the Two of Cups. What do we have over here? Eight of Cups. Ten of Cups. Okay. So this is a soul. Oh, okay, I knew I saw Two of Cups. It's over here. Okay. Two of Cups. So the soulmate connection. A partnership. This could be a partnership at work. It could be, actually, you could be getting together with someone that is a soulmate from a previous life. Or, and you guys work well together. You might be working well together again. Uh, we, this is showing, too, the two of wands, making a decision. Choose our decisions anyway. But, yeah, so this could be a soulmate connection with someone at work, someone that, or someone that wants to work on this connection. It could also be a love connection. And, actually, it could be both. You could be working and with your, you know, your person that you love, uh, your partner. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, you put an ending to someone um, being some kind of betrayal, some, someone starting trouble, someone maybe hiding something from you, stealing something from you. It could be more than one person too, but you ended that. You ended that connection. You ended the, whatever they are doing. Okay, what about the hanging man? Pisces energy. Okay, a burden here. So you're seeing things in a different perspective by waiting before you acted on something. But the burdens come to end because tens are always endings. Why do we have a Fool card here? Ooh, the Sun. Whatever this new beginning is, makes you really happy. 
It could be with a Leo. A lot of happiness, though. This new beginnings, new start, this leap of faith. What about this King of Pentacles? Ooh. See, I see this King of Pentacles as you. You're coming into a lot of money. You're either inheriting money, winning money, making money, or just it's just coming in. And this might be going back and forth with an offer with this um this Batman would get stuck and then finally it gets stuck and that's it. You you decide on something. So I fear you're going back and forth, you're following back and forth with some kind of agreement, and then finally it stopped and you got your offer. Okay, now what about this um page of cups? Ooh, this is a flash from the past. This person has a lot of memories. They're coming in. They want to apologize and want peace. Okay, that could be a past life connection too with that card. And it, I would say like sometimes the past life connection might you didn't meet them yet. But since there's apology and peace, I think you already know this person. And the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Yes, I think you're going to be in a really nice connection here. A soulmate connection. Looks really good. New beginnings for you. A lot of happiness. You do have people from the past that are still interested in you though. But I do feel there's new connections too. And that you're doing quite well here. Because we do have the Ten of Cups and we have the King of Cups here. You know, you have a couple different people interested in you. I almost feel like, you know, it might be someone newer rather than the past. But... That's going to be different for everyone. Okay, let's see what the word is. What's the word? The first one we'll go with is this. I want to go in so I don't forget someone. I'll do the King of Cups and then we'll do the, the I mean the King of Pentacles. Sorry, King of Pentacles and then the Page of Cups. We have here the end. Apology. Karma. Okay. So it might be the end of a karma when this person comes and apologizes. I'm going to put it that way. You can rearrange it any way you want. What about this page of cups? We're going to have always money, freedom. Okay, someone feels like there's always freedom with money maybe. That the money brings them freedom. Or they feel freedom from money. I don't know. <laughs> Move it the way it works for you. Let's see about this page of swords. We have. Separate. Reunite. Confess. Okay. So someone you're in separation with someone. They're going to confess. So you might reunite. Or they want to confess. That they want to reunite with you. Okay. What about this king of cups? We have immature thoughts hidden very soon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hidden immature thoughts are might be exposed very soon. I would think something like that. So very soon you should hear from this person. I would think about their thoughts that they were hiding from you because they are being immature. Okay. Now let's see what signs we have for you, Virgo. What are the signs? We have signature. Signature. Wow. Why did I say signature? Did, okay, that might mean something to someone. Maybe someone's signing something here. Maybe it's about separation, signing something, or I don't know. I don't know why is the signature? Sagittarius. <laughs> Jeez. Aries. Gemini. Scorpio, Cancer, and Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts. It could be past, present, or future people. And we have Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, and Aquarius. Now for the letters. The letters are, I'll take 11 letters, and they'll be for initials for first or last name, first and last name. And then if you know someone's middle name and you get that, if you already have the first and last, all the better. Past, present, future people, also your own. We have K. This heart is popping me up. Okay, K. P. L. Q. G. M. 
R N D A T. Okay, so letters we have for you today are K P L Q G M R N D A T. Now for the names. Let's see what names we get for you, Virgo. What are the names? We have enough here. We have Calvin, Floor, F L O R. We have Pip, P I P. Jane, Rushma, R I S H M A. We have Janae, J A N A I. Anissa, A N I S S A. Sherry, C H E R I E. Sharif, S H A R I F. Tina, oh, look at that, exactly 11. And Colleen with two L's. Okay, those are the names. All right, guys. So remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Just take the parts that resonate, leave the parts that don't. Don't try to make things fit. They don't fit. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.